This Japanese maple is 10 years old from seed. It germinated into a plastic tub along with many others from seed collected off my oldest tree in the garden. One year later I potted those seedlings into individual pots and next year this one um, selected for its smaller leaves um, went into the ground for five years to thicken up. Three years ago I lifted it up and it's been growing into ceramic pots since then. Finally the day has come when I remove the last air layer and I will get a feel of its um, actual bonsai size. Not many roots came out on this one, but just enough to have a fighting chance of survival. This small bud popped out just right below the air layer, but in a perfect position to become the second branch um, on the right side, so I need to be extra careful not to damage it. Usually when I have such a small root system on an air layer, I plant it as is, without disturbing the roots, um, into a training ceramic pot and then come a year and a half later to work the developed roots and start the nebar training. But this time I'm going to risk and work the roots now. I'm hoping for some buds to pop out around this cut next year, so I'm very careful with the application of the paste, trying not to cover more surface than necessary. Until the paste dries, I'm going to work the air layer into the training pot. For new air layers I make sure I place them right on the ground and tie them to something stable so that they are absolutely still for at least 12 months in order to give them the best conditions to develop this weak root system they have. I'll put this air layer stride under a big Norway maple away from sunlight until dormancy.
now back to the main tree first I'll remove this wire as it has done its job and it now starts to dig in the bark As I already have a first branch set and wired, I remove the rest of the sprouts in this node. Now at the top, this is where it gets interesting. Before the air layer, I already had this branch that I decided to make the new trunk line and eventually the apex. Luckily, this small branch bifurcated just above its base and now I have the opportunity to wire one of them for the new trunk line and use the second one as a sacrificial trunk to make a better and more natural transition. But the tree decided to push two more branches from this uh, location and even though one of them is quite boring, the second one uh, has a quite an interesting line making me wonder whether I should change my initial plan I've had for already two years now. But first, I have to remove the boring one. And I think I'm going to keep part of this branch in case I want to make a branch coming forward towards the viewer. Let's shorten the second candidate as it is thick enough for now. I'm going to place a wire on the first branch of the new growth even though these are probably not going to be part of the tree in the, in the future. and one wire on the initial candidate for the apex making an interesting line
Now, uh, this is the design of the tree. If I choose the initial trunk line uh, that brings the apex towards the right. Of course, in this case, the left trunk and the middle one used to make uh, a natural transition will be removed next late summer. And this is the new possibility. This trunk brings the apex back to the center of the base and somewhat forward, which looks quite good to be honest. In this case, the middle and the right trunk will be removed in next late summer. But that's all for today. I do not expect this tree to bud out this late in the season as uh, many of my maples have already started to change color. And coming up in the next video is my favorite tree in the garden. Thank you for your time.